Welcome back to the Sports News Analysis YouTube channel, where I'm always breaking down the hot sports topics of the day. My name is Mike. You know, I dissected the Drew Stanton signing before and its impact on the Arizona Cardinals quarterback situation. And I thought I'd take some time now to talk about uh, some other moves uh, that they made today and some, uh, very, uh, some very big moves at that. Uh, some of them aligning Bruce Arians with some players he's coached in other stops during his coaching career. And the first one that comes to mind here is the signing of Richard Mendenhall. Uh, he was... He played under Arians when Arians was the offensive coordinator in Pittsburgh. They signed him to a one-year deal. You know, I think there's a big uh, reward with this kind of deal. Uh, the risk is is very minimal. You know, if if Mendenhall doesn't work out from an either an attitude standpoint or a play on the field standpoint, it's pretty easy to just cut ties with the guy you only signed for one year. On the flip side, you know, it it should motivate Mendenhall to produce so he can play for maybe a contract that is maybe you know two three year contract next year possibly. So I think there's very little risk involved with signing Mendenhall. If he's anything like he was when he was healthy with the Steelers, he's certainly an upgrade over what they have now. Uh, the Cardinals have, you know, currently Mendenhall now in the fold at running back, the Rod Stevens Howling, and also Ryan Williams. They cut Be Beanie Wells earlier in the week. They were looking for a guy to be more of a starter. I think they get that in Mendenhall, um, again, who Arians expects to be a three down back out there in Arizona. Uh, Lorenzo uh, Lorenzo Alexander, uh, inside linebacker coming over from the Washington Redskins. Uh, at, at worst, Alexander is a great special teams player. At best, he fills the void next to Darrell Washington at the inside linebacker spot in the Cardinals 3-4 defense. So again, the this signing made, makes sense from a lot of different perspectives. He's not expensive. He's thought to be a sort of a, uh, a guy who's right on the fringe between being a special teamer uh, and a starting linebacker. He's a very hard worker, and I think that's what the, the Cardinals front office sees in a guy like Alexander, and they're giving him a shot here to, to be you know possibly a, a full-time starter next to one of the best inside linebackers in football, in my mind, uh, in Darrell Washington. Uh, also today, the Cardinals cut Kerry Rhodes, so that left uh, a void at the safety position, and they filled that with Jeremiah Bell. Jeremiah Bell, formerly of the Dolphins, last year with the Jets, uh, signs on uh, with the Cardinals. The thinking is he'll be slotted in at free safety. Uh, he's about Jeremiah Bell is 35, 36 years old. He's a veteran. I thought he had a good season as someone who watched the, watches the Jets every week. Uh, you know, I, I thought Jeremiah Bell had a good season uh, last year. Um, you know, I think, you know, a 35-year-old guy, though, you know, um, I, I don't know why the Jets didn't re-sign him. Probably has to do with his age. But I think he's a pretty good get for the Cardinals as a one-year stopgap here. Maybe they look to draft a young guy in the draft to sort of learn under Bell and eventually take his position. But again, not a you know, uh, eye-popping signing, but a solid veteran starter, certainly, in Jeremiah Bell. Uh, the last guy, Gerard Powers, the cornerback formerly of the Colts, coming over again with Arians to the Arizona Cardinals, as Drew Stanton did. Okay, Powers on the defensive side of the ball is a steady you know, veteran cornerback, still young enough. And it's still solid enough to be a good number two corner across from Patrick Peterson. So you sort of see this, you know, Cardinals defense, uh, you know, which was a good unit last year, even getting a little bit better with the addition, of course, of Bell, Powers, okay, Alexander at the inside linebacker spot. And, uh, you know, overall, none of these signings, you know, whether it's Mendenhall, Stanton, uh, Alexander, Bell, Powers, none of these are going to jump out at you, but I think they're solid guys that fit the Arians mold. Tough, hardworking, solid players. And uh, I think that's what you're going to see how, how Arians builds this program out in Arizona. They're going to kind of embody his personality, you know, which we saw shine through uh, in his stint as the Colts interim coach this year. Let me know what you think of these signings by the Cardinals. Um, Hit me up in the YouTube comments. Hit me up on Twitter, at SNewsAnalysis. And guys, be sure to check out uh, my other videos here, a plethora of free agent videos, including my one on uh, Drew Stanton uh, coming to the Cardinals as quarterback. Thanks again for listening. Be sure to subscribe, and have a great night.